I'm going to talk you through a part C question on the ecumenical movement because I understand from Mrs McCarthy that although your revision session went really, really well today, which is great to hear, so thank you to her for running that, this was a topic you were worried about. The ecumenical movement is a movement that tries to bring together different denominations and is focused on reconciliation, so moving on beyond previous disagreements or conflict and forging a new positive relationship. <coughs> this is a part C and so I've done four AB points. I've got some sources of wisdom that include Bible passages, people and organisations. I have not written out Bible passages, please don't waste time memorising them. Instead focus on what that passage is teaching and how it's relevant to the point you're making. So as I'm writing each paragraph, I'm thinking to myself, what's my source of wisdom? How am I going to get in a key term? And you should be doing that on Monday. Paragraph one, source of wisdom, is St. Paul's letter to the Church of Corinth, um, where he tells them off to stop any divisions um, and quarrels. And I've started my answer, if you look by echoing the question, the ecumenical movement is important. Paragraph two, I talk about the World Council of Churches, which is also on your specification. I talk about evangelism, that's my key term for that paragraph, and the idea that you're going to be much more successful um, trying to preach the good news about Jesus if you've got different churches working together rather than lots of mixed different voices. And then I've used a quote from John's Gospel, but you don't need to know it's from John, that says, all believers should be one so that the world may believe. I could show off, but I knew I didn't have enough time and say that the believer should be one like the Trinity is one. But you could do that if you're a quick writer. Then I talk about the importance of Christians setting an example, being a light for the world. That's a quote from Matthew. And so if they're going to be a good example, you know, they need to be getting on with each other and working together um, rather than dwelling on past arguments. And then finally, I refer to Pope Francis, who recently said that Christians can do so much more to help the poorest in society if they work together. And I've linked that to the parable of sheep and goats.